Hey everybody, it's Man 2000 and welcome back to some more Bioshock Infinite. In the last episode, uh, we were planning on going to Comstock's house and did a bunch of side quest stuff. And in this episode... In this episode, we are going to be... Okay. Thank you. Much obliged. Um, we're heading off in some random direction that's not towards the house. I missed, I missed. Okay, I def- Thank you, I know I need this. Okay, um, I want a- Pause for a second. Let's get some Buck and Bronco out. Let's get the crank gun. Let's pick it up, pick up, pick up the crank gun! There we go. Okay. Well then. Looks abandoned. It looks abandoned, huh? I saw something over here. I guess it was just the skyline. Um. So it's got to be. Where does it want us to go? Comstock's house. Oh. So why was it always leading me backwards? Hmm. Okay, I wanted to go in here. That's what I wanted to do. Can I pop in here? What do we got? Hand cannon? Or just pistol? Just pistol. Um, I have more pistol ammo, so let's just do it. Crank gun shreds these guys apart. So are we going to head into the test lab at all? Can we get in? Doesn't seem like it. So... I hear a patriot. That makes me scared. Can I hop in here? Or is it... Okay. I didn't think there would be a door. Ah, uh, that was a dumb idea, but it, it took away my shield only. So it's not that bad. Yay! Oh, it's the dollar bill. Okay. Um, I really want to pick up the hand cannon again, because I haven't tried that gun out enough. I'm going to reload before I head in, because I know there's going to be some kind of bad guys in here. There's a tear there. What the heck? Okay, I'm going to head this way. Um, so... I guess we'll head this way. I see a tear there, but I can't seem to get it open. It's Albert Fink's house. I, I love his music. Fink did music? Or I guess the brother of Fink. So let's just keep heading towards. You know, I, I keep thinking about that dream that you had. New York on fire. There's something about it. Okay, um, it's gotta be, it's just machine gun ammo, okay. Uh, what's in here? Just a bunch of money, as usual. So I saw a new, uh, what do you call these things? Kinetoscope. We haven't seen a kinetoscope in a long time. Solving the Irish problem. So, this is the story of how Fink basically got control of basically all the guys. Um, there's nothing more in here. Let's see what we got. Um, once we go this way, right? Yeah. Um, we got one of these babies. Let's see. Telescope. Can I s- Box have chosen their favorite color. Seems about right. Color of blood, knowing them. That's their reasoning. Um. ZH Comstock Victory Square? Beyond that gate lies 
Oh, it's shields. Ooh. I hope I get to use one of these. Okay. Don't know what was up with me going backwards a few episodes ago. Um. Open gate. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing is mistaken for my mother. Does it count your handprint? Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think hmm. can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Are we literally going to take her hand? Because if we do, that is wrong in so many ways. I'm just going to keep following the arrow. The Crypt of Lady Comstock. They have these maps everywhere, but they mean nothing to me, because I don't understand them enough. So I guess this is kind of just a giant area you can loop around then. And that's why, like, you can sometimes skip... Oh, I stepped in fire. The Crypt of Lady Comstock. Um, does want me to go this way? Yes, it does. Okay. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? Um, let's switch out this with a shotgun. So, I guess down here. This seems about it, then. Uh, I cannot read that. I have to call in the lock? Do it. It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? I just don't want to cut off someone's hand. There's a lock on the other side. Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. No. Let me do it. Can I not punch the lock off? Open coffin. Whoa! Security system? Security breach! Um you see, child. You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Oh my gosh! What the heck? No, 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 no. What? What the heck? Um, um, what the hell just happened? Elizabeth, are you all right? No, where, where did she just go? Hold on, you need to rest for me. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of. Where she's alive? Okay. Um, well then. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Okay. That's gotta be her. But I can't tell if I can hit her when she's like a ghost form. Should probably reload my... My gun here. Before I run out of ammo for it. Um, I don't think I would be able to use Vigors on this. Maybe return to Sender, at best. She dead? 
Or, well, you, you can get what I need by dead. Hoarder. Two loot tests? Wait, what? Why are there two loot tests? Oh my gosh. What am I? She the source of my power? What? But what is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. So we're going to convince her. Okay, then. Let's follow these footsteps. Where the heck? They're gone. Great, as usual. Helpful as always, Lutesses. Helpful as always. Now, where exactly does the game want me to go? Head up here? It's a shame you have need of her. You guys again. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths. Truth. In this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Smart asses. Okay. So it splits in two. So the best guess what I mean by what they mean by truth is truth that'll make Lady Comstock resent. Uh, what's his face? Is that gonna be one of them? Well, basically, is it? It's gonna be stuff that makes her resent. Uh, Comstock himself, and that's why. These footprints, they just disappear, so I can't see where they're going in time. Well, all I have is a shotgun right now. So I'm going to pick up the first gun I see. Which is just another shotgun. Okay, well that definitely could have gone better, as always, so I guess it wants me to go in here now. You unlock this? I'll give it a whirl. Got it. Okay. So what does it mean by truths? That's the part I'm more interested by, is what the damn Lutests mean by look, or truths. Because they are as cryptic as they always are, but I mean, I mean, I should have been expecting that, but I mean, I guess this is one of them. There's something in there. Should I open it? Um, I'm gonna say hold off on that because we got a Vox. Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Okay, then. Let's open it up, Elizabeth. Where are you? Can we open it up? Open tear. Let's do it. Your dear prophet is non existent. And Madame Lutas. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. There's a lie. Come and get your little bastard! I want her out of my house! Sterile. They weren't my parents. Then what were you to them? A child that they decided to impress me. She deserves whatever Comstock did to her. ...between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the what truth. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like 
she's a reflection. Well, we missed all of that, but I, I really don't care that much. Um, I can't imagine what the heck Lutessa is going to say that's going to make this more obvious what she's talking about. So that's a person stuck between realities. I just don't know who the heck it is. Um, and I'd rather not kill them because they seem to be doing fine. Um, so I guess this is where we're originally supposed to get returned to Sunder. That's my best guess. Um, I lost the footprints. Great. Find the next tier. Tear. By tier. Is tear and tier spelled the same way? I didn't even think about that. They might be. I might just be stupid. Uh, and just not thinking correctly because I'm playing a video game, but... I mean... That just makes things a lot more complicated. Okay, um... Good. Okay, footprints. We're heading back here. So... Is it going up, or... Where the heck are the footprints going? Okay! Hello, sir! I want to pick up all of your... I missed all of them. Didn't I? Okay. Uh, Bucking Bronco! The savior of everything! Okay. Uh, Raven guy is dead. Okay, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. Like, a million people just popped out of the doorway, so... We're gonna go for a Skyline Strike on this guy, because I don't think he'll be able to survive it. I think that was a fireman I was hearing? I honestly can't tell. Um... Hello, Vigor Vendor. Is there anything I can buy from you? Okay, yes. I'm going to buy this immediately. Return to Sender for less. Um... I don't even know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I know I'm in the middle of a battle right now, but upgrading is still worth it. Still worth it, damn it! Um... Um... I'm still using the shotgun, but there's no more upgrades for the shotgun as far as I can tell. Spread boost. Sure, let's do it. I upgraded a gun completely. Yay! That makes me happy. Okay. Kilt it out. I, I'm stuck. Um, let's... Let's put on possession for a second. Is there... I don't know where the fireman is. So as soon as I see him, I'm gonna... Haven't found the guy yet. <laughs> Did he just whack me with his gun? He's gotta be on the skyline then, right? Or above us? Oh, okay. I don't know why I possessed him again. There's much better vigors I can use on him. Like Bucking Bronco. Let's just reload my guns then. While I Bucking Bronco him. Now! He's like flying away from me as I'm shotgunning him. There we go. Okay. So, I think up here is where I... The next tear is gonna be. Which is why this area was so abandoned before. Um... Got to. So we can go in here now? Um, when did this turn into a horror game? Please explain to me. Uh, sh Sure. Um, I think soon we'll have to end off the episodes, but let's see. Let's see where we're going first. Maybe we can open up the tear first and then end off the episode. Nah, I think I'm gonna end it off here, so... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Bioshock Infinite. I don't really understand what's going on right now, to be completely honest. But, um, I guess I'm going to see you all next time, so bye!